and I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. Well, you're done working there. If you want my help, this is over. Yeah, of course. Of, of course. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's be- You know that butcher- I want to know what the Crooked Man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? No, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Be wolf? 
Well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit. want to talk I'm sorry sheriff but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes come on damn it for such an innocent guy you're acting pretty damn strange Johan I don't know what to tell you Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You'll get hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please! Please don't kill me! If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No! No, please! You don't have to do that! I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. Why are you trying to sneak out the back, Johan? What are you afraid of? That whole crew! Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary in those Porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh.
What is this place? I told you, Bigby. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Huh. Looks like math or something. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a... a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials, and with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. It's pretty clear why. Oh, yeah? Why? These shackles. He's using slave labor. No wonder people are coming to him for magic. Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's... he's enslaving fables. On my watch, people just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. 
leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... My fucking Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you, I'm, uh, the guy who just gonna... Sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order, you know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was... St so get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey. What's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go like it went with Tweedledum. <laughs> you fucking motherfuckers! Oh, motherfucker! Oh. You done it now, shithead. You really done it now. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve.
Magic Mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Where's the crooked man? How can I find him? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where'd they take it? Where did they take Crane? Oh, how the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right. Go do it, then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? What are you gonna do now? We all got our roles to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. 
Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Anyway... No, it's fine. You did excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Don't worry. We'll talk soon. You can count on it. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? He got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes. Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the Crooked Man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamoured, Tub. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Good. You have... Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. 
You know that as well as anyone. Well, did you or didn't you? <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? I don't know, but when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction, and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just show me where I can find the Crooked Man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. I don't recognize the door, but... That's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him, so I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way. 
for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? I don't have time for this. God bless us, everyone. Some kind of a fucking joke. What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh. Bloody hell! This fucking guy! I was wondering when you'd turn up. You know, Tim would have been happy to have let you in. I'm so sorry, sir. He wouldn't wait. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. I've heard stories about you 